Hi, I'm Buzzy and last year I got into art school in America. Now that my studio space is clear, my bags are packed and my small army of houseplants has been given away, it's time to actually move countries and I couldn't be more excited. As I got closer and closer to landing in Boston, since I've been preparing for this day for so long, the fact that I was legitimately moving to the US still didn't feel quite real. I also don't know how I managed to do this absolute mammoth of a journey with five bags in tow. That's like 2.5 bags per hand. But I do remember that climbing into my sleeping bag that night felt really good. Even though it would have been nicer for the mailroom to actually let me collect the sheets that I ordered, but more on that later. Hello. <laughs> I arrived quite late last night and then I literally just conked out in my bed because it, it was a seven hour flight. I mean, that's kind of reasonable. Today is international student orientation. So I need to be at a place and a time. I don't know what I'm doing, but it looks pretty busy. The first thing on the agenda though was to clear up the absolute heap of clothes and books and bags that I just dumped on the floor the previous night. Jet lag meant that instead of waking up at 11 like I usually would in the UK, I woke up bright and early at 6am instead. To quote the 2004 American teen comedy film Mean Girls, the first day of school was a blur. A stressful, surreal blur. But unlike Katie Heron, I did not eat my lunch on the toilet. No, in fact, I didn't eat any lunch at all because I forgot my key card and I got locked out of my room. I hate it here. Other notable events from that day include trying to pick up my bed sheets again and the mayor room not letting me. Whoa, <laughs> so much stuff. A cute little walking tour of Providence and the bureaucratic hell of opening an American bank account. Open this bank account. However, the next day, the gods smiled upon me. Oh, my packages came. Yes. <laughs> I have literally been sleeping in this sleeping bag right here for the last two nights because all of my bedding just wasn't available to pick up. So now that I've got this, I can actually have a proper night to sleep which is lovely. We love actually sleeping. Oh no, not the box within a box. <laughs> God, this is ridiculous. I got a mattress topper for this bed and I don't know how it works. So, I guess the first step is to clear my bed. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Remove both the memory portion and the down alternative build cover from the box. Today my roommate arrives. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that, but that's week I took to them online and it's gonna be weird not having this room to myself anymore, but I'm excited to like properly meet them because you know it's different when you're actually seeing someone and talking to them in person. But I kind of want this room to be actually presentable for them when their parents come in because it's a it's a state. <laughs> so I've got to get all of this bad linen done. Gosh, this is a workout. Oh. I'm gonna have like an actual proper night's sleep. Once I was doing that and I literally blew out a light bulb because I flicked it too hard and it just like whacked to the ceiling. Hi, we're at the time to I'm sorry, you're the worst. 
<laughs> These next few days were really intense. In the best way, of course. Aside from taking the time to be properly inducted into the cult of RISD, we also had a lot of stuff we needed to get for the room, like detergent, cleaning and organising supplies, along with all of our art supplies for class. Just a side note, if you guys want to help fund my future art projects, then make sure to check out my Prince Club on Patreon down below, because you and I both know that art supplies are so expensive. But for the rest of the day, I urgently needed to do the rest of the admin that comes from moving countries, like getting a new SIM card and figuring out how to transfer money over from home. So my roommate, the king that he is, was really generous and let me use her card for the meantime. Aside from all the boring stuff, we also made sure to take some time to explore the sites of Providence. And of course, acquire some new houseplants because I was forced to leave my old ones back at home. Do you want to wave? <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> this is how our room looks now, seven weeks in from the start of term and it definitely feels more like a home. It's been absolutely wild, but at the same time, it feels like I've been here an age. Though I'm still very much adjusting to people not being able to understand my accent. Like I had to repeat the word torso about 20 times yesterday and that was not the vibe. There are many more of my RISD adventures to come, I am sure. So if you want to follow me along, then please lightly touch that subscribe button down below. Thank you everyone for your support here and special shout out to Freya for becoming my very first patron. Your print will be in the mail very soon. Have a great day, you guys, and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> Bye.